So I'm going to show you how we made this fabulous bowl of broccoli greens, fresh from our garden. I've got some broccoli plants behind me that we harvested the crowns from. And then we got a few little broccoli florets out of them, but now we're left over with all these plants behind us that have these big, beautiful leaves on them. A lot of you probably put them in your compost pile, or if you have animals, maybe you feed them to your chickens or your pigs or whatever, and that's great. But if you're the type of person that likes dark, leafy greens like collards or kale, stuff like that, that you like to mix into your diet, you're missing out because these are great. So today I'm going to cut these and we're going to make a nice little meal with these as one of our sides. So I'm just going along and clipping off these leaves. I think I'm going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, you brought a pretty small bowl out. I know. It's like a cereal bowl. I well, I wasn't really. I thought about grabbing. Well, it was sort of like a come on, grab your scissors and go. And so I just grabbed the closest bowl. And so now we're making a broccoli leaf bouquet. I think there's a zucchini behind you there. Let's look at that real quick. Going through the jungle. Right there. Oh yeah. And there's another uh, little what, one What's happening. that right there in the middle though? Alright, so zucchini right there. You want me to cut it? Nah, that, let that one go a little bit too. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of zucchini the last couple days. Mm -hmm. Peppers are coming wow. in. Wow, nice. What's she doing there? I had hair flying. Yep. Several hairs. Mm. Yep. So, there you have it. That's all the broccoli greens that we are going to treat like collard greens. Take out the center vein and we're going to show you how to cook them up. Okay, so we're going to cut these broccoli greens that we picked. I'm going to basically devein them and I'm going to take the center line out of all of these. So, and I'm going to try to get as close to it as I can. And I just kind of use the tip of my blade usually when I do it. And you'll find a comfortable way that works for you. But, oops, that one didn't tear all the way. And then these I give to the chickens or the pig or whatever. And then I'm just going to move these off to the side and then I'll show you how I cut them up. So I'm just going to take this vein out of the center here. Oops. What's that noise behind you? Uh, we got the pressure cooker going. We are canning some chicken in the background, so check out that video too. In case you wonder why she's wearing the same shirt in multiple videos over the next couple of weeks, because we we're filming we them all today. We multitasking. Like, no joke. Like, because we were doing multiple things. We're trying to get a bunch of different cooking things done at once. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I cut these now. Okay, so I'll take a small stock and I like to roll them up a little bit, kind of like this. It doesn't have to be super tight. Um, this was a tip that I found um, off of a Paula Deen thing. I'm not a huge fan of her cooking, but I do like her collard greens recipe, although I omit the butter and use coconut oil. Um, but this is a great way to cut up your greens and it works for these as well. So, kind of just roll them up and then cut them. And then you're left with your, um, let me grab a hole for those real quick. <clears throat> you're left with your nice strips 
when you do it that way. So kind of just lay them flat on top of each other. And just kind of, and you can do them as thick or as thin as you want, depending on what you're using them for. I just find that this is the easiest way to kind of get them somewhat uniform and in those strips that we like for, you know, collard greens and, and things like that. And granted, these aren't collard greens, but you can treat them pretty similarly when you're cooking them. So again, I'm just going to fold them over. Okay. So I've got my broccoli greens chopped up and we still have some hot coals outside. So we are going to use the hibachi, uh, which is the bottom of the barrel house with the grate over the top to cook these. So I'm gonna prepare my pan and my greens with the seasoning that I wanna use in here and then we're gonna cart it outside. So I'm gonna use some coconut oil because um, that is that and uh, avocado oil are my favorites to use, but I really, really like the coconut. So I'm gonna put some of this in the pan. If you haven't cooked with coconut oil before, um, some people say it has a taste, some people say it doesn't. I guess maybe some of that depends on what kind you're using, um, you know, what brand. Um, this one, definitely, it's very light, it's very natural, very fresh. I think it adds a nice flavor. Um, not overly noticeable. I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper to this. This is what's going to get heated up in the pan before I add the greens. Um, I'm going to take just a light dusting of avocado oil and I'm just going to run this through here and toss it through so that I can add some seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic into the pan. Normally if I was cooking in the kitchen I'd wait till this pan was hot to add this but I'm going to add it off to the side wait till the pan's hot, and then I'm going to scoot it into the oil. And I did not grab a nut. That's not a knife. That's a knife. There we go. And, you know, it's not uber crucial. You're cooking outside, so it's not going to be as precise sometimes as if you're, you know, doing it on your range. Instead, we're doing it home, home on the range, yo. So... And this is my little Pampered Chef gadget that I love because you never have to touch the garlic. Um, so you don't have to have garlicky smelling hands, but you still get all the wonderful, and it's all sliced, diced, pureed, juiced, fabulousness right into that whatever you're cooking. Like so. Alrighty. Now. So we're going to try the Grizzly Joe's here. I'm going to sprinkle it onto the greens. I've mixed in some of that oil on here. We're going to sprinkle in some of this uh, Grizzly Joe's California Dreamin'. Um, it's got some garlic in it, some onion, sea salt, parsley, and chives. So that's going to be a nice flavor on here. So I'm going to throw some of that on. I'm just going to kind of use my my oil spoon here and just kind of toss that in a little bit. Now you're using, and some people might be like, oh my God, that's so much oil. It's really not, and this is a healthy fat. This is not, I'm not using vegetable oil, I'm not using canola oil, but this is coconut oil and avocado oil. This is very healthy oil to be using when you're cooking. This is the kind of oil you want to be using. All right, so we're gonna take this out to the hibachi and we're gonna get these broccoli greens cooking. That's how you turn the base of the Barrel House 14 vertical cooker into a hibachi using the grill plate out of the Barrel House 18. And there's actually some little little fuels on there that prevent it from sliding off. It fits nicely. So um, there you go. Alright, so I'm going to go grab my pan and my broccoli greens and we're going to get this thing rolling. Okay, so I've got my pan with all my goodies in it. I'm going to go ahead and set this right on here. 
let that oil and that garlic start melting a little bit. So you can see it's starting to bubble just now. It's been on here for maybe two, two and a half minutes. It's starting to bubble. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the greens now. So I'm gonna kind of add them in slow and stir them in, especially since I'm outside over an open flame. And since I can't turn this down, since I'm not uh, inside, I've got my pot holder in case I need to pick it up to stir it a little bit if it gets too hot on the bottom. So I just like to kind of fold them in. Now you could do these with, you know, a ham hock or some belly scraps in a big pot, just like you would collard greens. Um, but for today, because of what we're cooking, we're doing them out here. Thank you. And I don't like them too overcooked. Um, and we don't like any of our vegetables cooked too much. Um, we like them kind of lightly cooked. Now these you do want to cook a little bit longer than if you were actually just cooking broccoli crowns. Really making sure I'm folding in all that garlic. Normally I'd be in the kitchen, I'd be working on other things right now, but I feel like, you know, watch pot right now. I'm like, zoned in on it. Give it a second here, but it'll cook. Because if you, if you cook it, it will cook, right? If you build it, they will come. If you put it on heat, it will cook. Something like that. Sure. Right? You want to just let that cook for okay. a second while we go look at the I stock? Can't. Okay. I can't. It'll cook too, too far. Because right. I can't turn it down. So I gotta baby it a little bit. Smells really good, doesn't it? Smells amazing. Yeah. I am right downwind of it. <laughs> it's not often anybody says that to me, but hey. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Thanks for watching us put our meal together and hope you give it a shot at home. Don't forget to comment and let us know if you gave it a shot and tried it and liked it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the bell to get the notifications. Don't forget to check out our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.